everyone. Uh, I'm here at Big 5G with Arvin Singh from Verizon, and we're going to discuss the most interesting topic that we currently see in the telco landscape, which is private 5G and private Mac. So, Arvin, welcome on stage. Thank you, Pablo. Great to be here with you. So, uh, I have a few questions I want to discuss with you about private 5G and private Mac, but, but first, let me just understand a little bit and let the audience understand. Why should an enterprise look for a solution that combines connectivity and computing? Yeah, absolutely, super important question. And to your point, most interesting topic around 5G, I think the important point for the audience to keep in mind is that connectivity is evolving so much so that it's very, very different, vastly different than any other kind of previous wireless connectivity. 5G packs tremendous promise in terms of capabilities that are delivered today, plus what's to come in future with going from non-standalone to standalone 5G, getting into the world of network slicing, um, additional feature sets that will get enabled as we journey into 5G Advance also. So when you take this next generation of um, wireless cellular connectivity paired with compute resources, there's phenomenal capabilities you can unlock, right? There's an opportunity for businesses and inter industries to go after use cases and, and business problems mm -hmm. that were probably out of our reach in the past, right? Traditionally, we've looked at problems with the lenses of here's what my network connectivity looks like, let me apply it to A or B or C, right? In this case, now you've got a connectivity fabric that's so much more robust, mm -hmm. you could start with A and B today and then be able to do C, D, and E later on, mm -hmm. right? That's, that's where I'm excited about the potential of pairing connectivity with compute, mm -hmm. enabling use cases around computer vision, artificial mm -hmm. intelligence, inferencing, things like that, right? That were previously yeah. without uh, without reach. Yeah, it, it seems effectively a match made, match made in heaven. So you have like the best of both worlds, you combine them. But let's go a little bit deeper. Let's go yeah. to the sort of nitty gritty part of this. Uh, if I'm an enterprise and I'm, and I'm combining private 4G plus private Mac, what are the benefits that I can expect? Yeah, first off, I think it's important to understand private 5G, right? Mm -hmm. When we talk about 5G in general, the macro public network fabric, obviously there's 250 plus 5G commercial networks that are live globally. Mm -hmm. uh, the version Verizon runs is quite different. It's, it's a fabric that's been built with robust spectrum strategy and low, mid, high band spectrum, along with dense fiber build out, right? When we get into private 5G, we're talking about taking a miniaturized version of the radio access network and the packet core and now co-locating it on premise. Mm -hmm. So think of it as if you're a manufacturing client and you needed a high availability, high reliability, highly secure network at your disposal, localized, that's serving your customers or your uh, mission critical traffic locally, now you connect to a private dedicated network that has a compute private Mac or private edge fabric that's localized to you. Again, the applications like computer vision, the opportunity to enable automated guided vehicles that require ultra low latency, um, the opportunity to keep data highly secure and private within the four walls of your operation. Mm -hmm. Whether it's manufacturing, whether it's healthcare, highly regulated industries, even utility. So it again open up, opens up the aperture for a new set of use cases that again, we typically would probably shy away from. Yes, I, I, I like that you're touching you know, heavy regulated industries because a lot of those industries are very specific, very regulated, so yeah. that's definitely a big plus. So uh, pretty much it gives the enterprise an edge. So, so to speak. Uh, but again, one, one additional question uh, for you. If an enterprise, how should an enterprise start this journey? What should be the first step if they want to sort of make the most yeah. of this private 5G plus private Mac opportunity? I think Pablo, you underscored the important point. Enterprises need to start. <laughs> and they need to start now. Quite frankly, the first step I, in my mind is really getting a good awareness and understanding of what is the capability this technology brings. Mm -hmm. The capability that's available today, that's currently in market, and then what's to come in future in terms of the roadmap that uh, will bring feature sets that will continue to enhance the, mm -hmm. the investment you make in the network today and the edge fabric, right? Uh, but it's important to start, it's important to create a core team within your business that's a makeup of your line of business, your IT, your OT, and the different functional areas, and have champions of 5G and Edge within your practice that know which business problems we want to solve for, right? Really be intentional about the use case, the pain points, and how do we reimagine 
uh, the opportunity to address those problems with this next generation of 5G network plus edge fabric that's better than the next generation of Wi-Fi networks that are available to most enterprises, mm -hmm. right? So uh, in my mind, it's an opportunity to be pragmatic, it's an opportunity to start now, and it's an opportunity to partner with organizations that bring breadth of capabilities, not just the network, the edge fabric, the services layer, the platform layer, security services on top of that, to again, solve for the problems of Horizon 1 and 2 today, mm -hmm. but also journey with you into the future, going towards Horizon 2, 3 type of problems in the future. Okay, fantastic. And I like that you touched on the different parts of the enterprise and having that long-term vision. Arvin, thank you very much for being here with us today. I really enjoyed this conversation and, you know, enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you. Thank you, Pablo. Appreciate this opportunity.